I'm Toycat and welcome back to another live stream on the internet. Today I'm going to be playing some Boundless and as you can see based on this screen right here it's a pretty confusing looking game. I'm excited though because uh, I'm kind of curious and uh, I'm sure anyone who looks at this has a, at least a little part of their interest peaked. So we're going to be playing as a confusing alien with a quiff and with eye color 213 out of 255. There's a uh, oh there's actually a, a surprising amount of a uh, options you can actually put into your character. I'm going to be massive though because I feel like, you know, that's going to benefit me. Uh, oh, and we can even pick a color from the same 299 colors, so uh, that's kind of nice. We'll go for the, we'll try and find the Toy Cat color green, the same green as my logo, just for the fun of that. So yeah, I'm excited about Boundless because, oh, is that close? It's kind of close, right? You know, it's, it's close enough. And then Advanced Gleam Kit Tinting, we don't need that, but we can pretend we do. And then we're going to give our character a name, English Alphanumeric, between 3 and 20 characters long. If Toy Cat has taken... I'm going to be mad at whoever does that, because <laughs> the, the weird thing about being a YouTuber is that people try and take your name on every service, and I've never understood why. Like, why do you want to be Toy Cat? Like, you're not Toy Cat. There's no benefit to being Toy Cat. Like, it's not even like I'm, like, a real person. Like, no one knows Toy Cat. Uh, anyway, import my PlayStation Network Friends characters. Sure. See what that does. PlayStation Network Friends. Added one PlayStation Network friend. And uh, start near a friend. Uh, or select a start. Okay, let's let's do this. So, I'm gonna start in Europe because that's my favorite place in the world. Hello, everyone, on the live stream. By the way, I am streaming at 2 a.m. 2:30 p.m. Don't question why. Let's just <laughs> accept that uh, you know Monday equals stream this early and uh, start in a hostile world or a tranquil world. I guess we'll go tranquil because you know I don't want to be attacked by random things. Um, I feel like there should be a happy middle ground, like a neutral world where some stuff attacks you, just not all the stuff. By the way, hello everyone, there's a surprising number for you for Monday, again, morning, Tuesday, 2.30, very weird, he looks like the Hulk. Oh, I can totally see the Hulk name, internet. Also, hello Kit Kats. good to see you here also. Crossplay? Yeah, it crossplays with PC, that's the uh, the wild thing about this. If you read the description, uh, you can learn. So let's let's go Tranquil. Um, you have undeemed, unredeemed purchases outside the game. Go to the exchange and they'll be added. Please note, if you want to redeem your purchase with a different character, you'll have to exchange characters before you open the exchange. Okay, easy. So as you can see, this is boundless. You can... I, I didn't know that it was block-like, but you can now see very clearly the inspiration of this game. <laughs> like, isn't it funny that any game like this, it's, you're like, you're 10 seconds in, you're like, oh, it's weird how the blocks are all cubic, is it not? Um... A little bit of a happy coincidence right there. But yeah, oh. Jeez. This is kind of weird, actually. So yeah, Boundless is a space MMO. It is a MMO where, again, there's some space travel involved. I tried not to look into too much of it because I wanted it to be a fun surprise. But long story short, this is a uh, bizarre game, to say the least. <laughs> that uh, It's been in development for four years now. And they're finally happy with it. Uh, citizens have the ability to quick place several objects at once. So warp augment, gonna need one of those I reckon. So first of all put that. Quick no, okay. Place it in my left hand. Okay, it does not want to be in my left hand. Does it now? Oh there we go, that's that's how we do it. So we press that there and then we place it on the left hand. You know it put it go in go in the left hand. I don't know why it doesn't want to. Uh what well, am I pressing the wrong button? Okay so when when viewing your inventory and interacting with Machete, you can use L2 or L2 to... There we go. Okay, easy. And then put this in the right hand. No, that doesn't go anywhere. Okay, simple. So now we have a totem in our left hand, which we can hit stuff with. Heavily not modern Minecraft lords. It looks exactly like that, right? Um, sometime will be updated 4G banner. I don't think so, actually. A lot. I've seen so many YouTubers just saying, like, definitely coming out tomorrow. And uh, I guess we're going to regret... Those thoughts potentially. No, I, uh, I, I do, I do think we're not seeing it tomorrow. But uh, we'll, we'll see if I'm right about that. Uh, so we have to go to one of these places. Although we have to combine the two things together. That's what I was doing wrong. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it there. Oh, and now we can, now we can hit this and we'll warp conduit, right? No, that still doesn't work. Orbiting above other known world. Oh, you can. Oh, that's so crazy cool. That's way better than I figured. You can pick where to be on the map or on the on the globe by shooting at it. This is wild. Cause so I want to go on the Big Island. Like I could go on Archipelago or just in the middle of nowhere. But I want to be like 
Oh, near Ramnuk, I guess. Oh, there are other people's civilizations on these islands. Including a, a, a German man over there. Dutch Oysterite Reich. So that's a little bit Nazi, which means I guess we have a we have a villain at least. Oh. So we have to There we go. So now we try and land there. Uh this is really cool though, like. That's a whole world that's like spinning. Am I I'm losing my location. So now we use the warp conduit and we interact and it'll take me there. Or it can take me to a friend. In fact, it wants to take me to a friend. More than it wants to take me anywhere else. So we'll try and go to this one. Yeah, it doesn't want to take me to my own conduit. It only wants to take me to a friend. So locations. Oh, there we go. Landing site. So it costs me zero C. And there's 35 citizens there? Oh, my world is unavailable. That's not fair. <laughs> so, um... What happened last stream? This is the first part of the boundless PlayStation 4 stream. Uh, so I try again. I love when a game doesn't work. Oh, break blocks to open. Oh my god. So needless to say, this is the coolest intro to a game I've ever seen. Well, I don't even know about the rest of it, but isn't that crazy cool that you can just... There's a portal from here. And you're just, you're just in the world now. That's nuts. Okay. So, hey, journey into the unknown. So the game's performance is pretty solid. It runs okay. And it looks beautiful. Like, look around this and tell me that you don't feel like you're in an alien world. Which, as we worked out from yesterday, is my favorite place to be. And then we're going to chop down a tree until the tree... Oh, you get one block. So I'm going to craft this into a crafting table now. And then, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually... I'm going to try and uh, make the tree fall down. The one test to see if it is its own unique game is if you can have floating trees or not. If the tree floats, then the game does not have realism. That's just the uh, the official measurement. So, um... Rocket, uh... What we got going down here? Kind of like when a YouTuber say the world's going to end on a certain day. Yeah, it's, it's... I mean, it's just the basic thing where, like, you know... YouTube... We're out here trying to make a living. Uh... And YouTube makes that harder and harder on a very regular basis. And sometimes the things you do, you, you wouldn't be proud of when you start it. I know, that's, that's what I'm assuming. That's the only reason some YouTubers, like, will double down on things they're, like, kind of sure of. Because, you know, it's, it's good for business. Hello, I'm probably just not supposed to be watching this stream in class. I would go as far as that. But, you know, what? let's go of it regardless. So, yeah, the, in this world, which, by the way, again, I want to clarify... The beauty of not only, like, the fact that we got red trees or whatever, but it is, like, a... Again, everything here is just kind of beautiful. So, we can now take this twisted wood trunk, and we can handcraft it into timber. Re this is, like, full-on going, like... You know, this is going... Not even pretending not to be Minecrafty. Take any trunk, get four sticks for, for one of them. Okay, and now we can make a crafting table, which I guess we'll do. And, okay, so we're going to press U to build beacon plot visibility. Whereas, wait, where's beacon plot visibility? And we're going to press down on this to open the exchange. Which, I have some gifts in the exchange, so stone objective coffer. A little bit dodgy seeing some loot crates in the game, but still. So, yeah, uh, oh, there, there's, there's your boy Haunton. Looks like he's an alien chopping down trees. This game is strange. Like... I have no real clue what's going down besides a lot of livestock are apparently nearby. And also, you can see when you chop down a tree, it just kind of like... Well, okay, so let's, um, as you can see, I've now got a crafting table. A red crafting table, which is nice. We'll put that in my right hand. And then we'll place it, I guess, we'll, we'll let haunts over here use it too. It can only be placed with an... Oh, that's why we need the beacon. So we'll press down on the D-pad and try and find a beacon. Okay, so I have to find a beacon which I own or I'm a fan of. We can interact with... Oh, so uh, let's, let's let's go interact with Hornet just, just to see how this goes. If you don't know, he's one of the YouTube sponsors on the stream. So we can interact. Uh, is there just like a friendly like... Oh, you can see all of their attributes. That's There's too much going on here. I, I don't know what to say about all of this, you know. It seems like Minecraft too. 
this is Minecraft 2. The Minecraft 2 we've been waiting for. No, it's... So I can track him. That's nice. And I can put this down only where I find a beacon. So I'm assuming if we check a map, maybe? No. Okay, wh where, where are the beacons? It said I could find one. I'm assuming one of these things up there. Okay, the home... The home icon, I reckon that's a beacon. So if we just run in this direction until we find whatever that home icon is. Okay, this is a beacon, right? Somewhere around here. Okay, so I've learned this tip. Now give me my beacon. Where's it at? Where, how can I... There we go. So it is in fact not a beacon. So you can't, why bother putting a description if, you, if people don't read it? I've wondered that question for a while now, actually. Oh, we've got like a, a real building site over there. Let's go check it out. So you can see there's like either remnants of other people's houses or like caves or stuff like that. It really is surprising how much this game is trying to take after Minecraft, you know? Not even that it, just that it does, but that it's like actively trying to. So this is a weird play. Oh, this, this is owned by someone. I happen to go super close to someone else. Hopefully it's not the Nazi guy. I mean, like, again, he's called, like, Deutsch Österreich Reich. Sounds like he wants a unified Austria-Germany. And we've learned the, the mistakes of that one from history. And he's got, like, all of these workbenches. I, I am missing something for sure here. It's okay. I'm a big fan. Good to see you. It does look a bit like Minecraft. And the Far Cry thing, I guess, is a good statement. So anyway, so... I need to find a beacon, and I have no clue. I guess, I sometimes, like, wonder, like, if I'm just, like, objectively bad at complex video games. Because there's always a lot of stuff in the beginning where, like, it has to be, like, shown to me. Because it's like, it says I need to find a beacon. But what what does a beacon, like, beacon can mean so many things in this, this context. By the way, let's see if we can, should we just beat the, uh, wild stock to death? Or is that mean? It probably counts as mean. Let's not do it then. So without a beacon, do we have to make our own beacon perhaps? Maybe that's why I'm going crazy here. So we go to inventory. And then we see basic beacon fuel. Okay, we need, I see a beacon fuel and I see warp conduits. Nothing else though. So we're gonna go to this guy's house, give that a peek and we'll be good. This game is confusing. Um, the funny thing about games like this though, is they're really good for YouTube because you can the only real way to learn about them is to basically watch YouTube, right? Like, how else am I... Like, it told me, find a beacon. It didn't tell me what a beacon was. It didn't tell me what one looked like. It didn't really give me any details. It just said, go find one. And yeah, that was kind of an odd thing. So this guy has a lot of stuff in his house. Can I use them? You can't use these things. So, I guess, I guess the beacon is the thing I place, which I'm assuming is... It's not the home over there. This this is silly. You know, I... I I want to get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> like, I, I can't place it anywhere. What is a beacon? Okay, so... I'm going to go look around for things that are considered a beacon. Because without one, I literally can't go any further. Like, places. Oh, beacons. There we go. So, home beacon is over there. So, a temporary home until you place your first campfire. So that's found at minus one, oh, whatever. <laughs> it's found over there. there. There is a home beacon where the home icon is, I believe. I just didn't find it last time because I'm too bad. But this is my first time on your main channel. I'm a big fan of your second channel, says BennyMC7. Oh, good to see you, BennyMC. Uh, the second channel is a fun place. So this is a beacon, like, as you can see up the top. This block right here, maybe up there, maybe down here. It, ins it, it says it's a beacon. You do not own any beacons. Oh. No, I, I have a home. But not until I... Okay, so there we go. We, we worked that out. So we have to go find a beacon. Which I'm assuming are these grey blobs over here. Now the grey blobs are stout wild stocks. Which, by the way, I'm, I'm going to just... You know, just... I have to know. You know? Okay, so... As it turns out, you'll die if you attack wild stock. Which means I think I'm going to die. Um... So, consume brutal fit. Well, you know, that sucks for me. But I guess I learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> Don't attack stuff like that. So as you can see, this is Deutsch Oysterreich Reich. Oh! I am defeated. 
<laughs> well, I mean, besides the fact that it's going pretty rough right now, things are going pretty well. Okay, so we can take our wood into this new area. And we can't find a beacon because we need a campfire first. So we go to inventory. And we go to handicraft. And we look for a campfire. Which is a type of beacon. There we go. So the campfire is a beacon, which is made from any trunk and any foliage. I have... I don't have the trunks, but I can find some foliage. Okay, so this is foliage, I assume. Yeah, waxy foliage. There we go. We got this. And this is also foliage. Lush foliage, to be precise. And then we're golden. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. <laughs> it's like, how are your noodles last night? Says Wyatt Harris. Uh, if you want me to be honest, Wyatt Harris. Wyatt Harris. After the stream last night, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go eat some noodles. And I immediately just went and uh, ate some ice cream. Ben and Jerry's, it's called like Mooforia. It's meant to be like healthy ice cream. It is delicious. A mini alien kangaroo coat. I mean, it happens to the best of us, you know? You're just wandering around and a mini alien kangaroo, it just gets you, you know? It just happens to us all sometime. Uh, how are you gonna stop it, you know? By the way, big thank you uh, to, oh wait, how do we equip this then? Big thank you to uh, Matthias, Matthias Piel. Good afternoon, Soy Cat. Good afternoon, Matthias Piel. I'm gonna start my house on the river, because then it's defended on one side. What is a plot? Oh, you got Good a... afternoon, Toey Cat Cat Face. <laughs> Good afternoon, Toey Cat Cat Face. Good afternoon, Matthias. Good to see you here. Uh, so we're gonna take our cubits and we're gonna exchange them for a plot two wood copper in the plots tab. So in the plots tab of places? No, in the plots tab of the exchange. Ah, there we go. So we can make a plot wood coffer, which can be used to expand my beacon. And it reserves an 8x8 cube. It's an MMO, so this is reserved for everyone in the game, not just me. Which is kind of cool, right? So now I can take... Th oh, and now you can see, I can pick any 8x8 plot. And I'm going to pick one uncomfortably close to someone else. Because then we can start a war later, maybe. Yeah, actually, I want to be, like, here. So I've got, I've got, I want to have a nice sea view, you know? So we'll go over this. And now my campfire is a beacon, which means, guess what? Within my beacon, I can finally place. The dream is happening. I'll be able to place in my right hand a crafting table. Yeah, hey, look at that. And now we can interact with the crafting table. And we can get more stuff going down here. But to get that, get that, we need to get some stone. I'm assuming we can just hit some stone of our axe. We, we can. Oh, that's sand. Never mind. I think that's right, but I don't know what will happen. This is, um... Yeah, uh, Kit Kats will be the, uh, the first one-year member. I think she's on 11 months right now. It's, uh... I, you know, you gotta, you gotta give Kit Kats some props. The moment there was, like, a sponsor feature announced, she was like, yeah. That's what I wanna do. I wanna... Support. Yeah, I guess it's not it's not called sponsoring anymore. It's called being a channel member. So to retroactively change it, she was like, I'd love to be a member of the Toy Cat channel, whatever that even means. And you gotta you gotta give at least ten points to Kit Kats for that. Ten points on any system. Um I live off noodles, my favorite is Tom Yum. I have these uh, really good noodles, they're like you microwave them, but they're like re real noodles, you know? I don't know. That that wasn't a very clear explanation, but they're good, trust me. So we're going to whack this rock. And then it's going to give me some rock. And there we go, look at that. Low energy. So, okay, there's only so much effort you can put into the game. If you look at the bomb, that's my energy bar. And it's slowly recharging. Big thank you, Matthias uh, PL, for the five Poland Zloty uh, five uh, super chat. Really appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you for the second one. Rolling in there with the second super chat today. Uh, so my citizen needs to eat regularly to avoid starvation. Once he's starving, he'll receive damage till they consume food to prevent it. How do you prevent that? I reckon the campfire. Uh, oh, we've got cherries. Raw strawberries. Can we cook strawberries? I reckon we can. Oh no, we, we're just eating. Whatever, it's, it's good enough for me. I'm no longer affected by starving, that's good. I do love not starving to death. So as you can see, we need foliage, stones, and... So I, I mined stones, but I didn't get stones. I got sedimentary rock, oh, which is different to stone. So we need to make a wooden pickaxe, I'm assuming. A wooden shovel, let's call it. 
which means we need timber, foliage. Okay, so we, we basically have to run around and hit a lot of trees. Like, if you've ever thought to yourself, like, wouldn't Minecraft be better if you had to hit more trees? And boy, this game has got you covered. Why does wood take longer to break than stone? <laughs> That's also a good question, Zach Smith. Um, Pepsi is way too sweet. Pepsi Max is good because it's a little sweet, but not too sweet. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm the crazy one here, but Pepsi Max is like the best. It's the best cola type drink because it's too sweet. It's like, you know, it replaces the sugar with extreme sweetness. That's, that's why I'm a fan of it. I don't know how you got into a Pepsi Max conversation, but look, I'm on board with that. But yeah, I've, I've always loved... Uh, seeing alien worlds and stuff like in my dream dreams like i'm in some alien space world and i think like every human has that thought right like what if the world was made entirely of aliens instead of real people because you can almost like you know real life is like painfully predictable sometimes oh i'm gonna run out of energy again okay that's that's a problem and i'm gonna start starving a bit which is always bad Oh wait, I can start making a house now. So that guy's house looks nice, right? I reckon we can do one better though. We're gonna make a perfectly square fort. Actually, you know, I'm gonna use my... Okay, wait, so we got an inventory. I don't... Uh, we'll make some timber, because timber's a lot. Oh, we can't actually place timber though. Can we? Let's find out. Yeah, you can't actually place timber on the ground. It's only used for building. If we want to build, we have to use our stuff. So we're not gonna build with a house just yet. We will totally get one, though. So, Toy Cat, are you going to play the Black Ops 4 Blackout Beta? I actually am. Yeah, I'm just... It's, uh, i got to wait for that whole thing to come out. Uh, so, we're going to give this a, a whirl in the meantime. And it's bizarre, but it's interesting. I'm, uh... I'm finding it intriguing, if nothing else. So, we'll take a wooden shovel now. Place this in my... Because it's probably better than a totem. So, now we take the wooden shovel we have. Put in our right hand. And look at that. This this looks ridiculous. But now we can get sand faster. Because we're hitting it for 300 damage. And uh, we can also... I guess we have to go mining down below if we want to find stone. Because like this looks like stone a little bit, right? No, that's ash. Oh, this is stone. There we go. No, this is sedimentary rock again. Okay, you want to use a totem... For whatever, this is confusing. So I'm going to dig down here roughly... And just see what we find. So anyway, with that said, a uh, big thank you to Matthias PL for the Poland 25 Super Chat. It's actually going to read itself out. So I'll, I'll wait till it does. If it does. Anyway, so okay, so he says, are you planning to do a stream with Minecon Earth 2018? Yeah, I'm going to be streaming Minecon Earth 2018 to, uh, because I want to, I really want to, you know, do like a party style thing. That they're recommending. Are you planning to do a stream no. with Minecon Earth 2018? Cat face cat, toey cat, <laughs> smiley face. Cat face cat, toey cat, smiley face. You know, it's hard to disagree with all of those words in a row, right? Oh, we're level two. So we can now. I didn't even realize there was a leveling system in this game, but there is. And it's important to keep in mind. So, this sedimentary rock, I'm sure, will turn into stone. Because there isn't anything else here, right? There's gravel. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run away. Run away. Can't be dealing with that. Do not agree. You know, I kind of want to just uninstall the game right there. How dare they? They're probably rice or egg noodles. Yeah, but they're like... They're, they're, as soon as you microwave them, they taste like properly fresh made by some... Uh, I was going to say Chinese. Maybe that's offensive. Some Asian noodle expert... And it's like, it's it's amazing. So, we can now spend 150 on this. Or we can get the, uh, this. What makes an iron copper different to a... I'm going to place a stone copper next to it. A pack of five plots. Oh, so you can... And actually to buy more plots. So I can make a big old plot now. Which we'll do, just for the fun of it. So, okay, the stone copper is... I don't know how we actually do that. I guess we have to place a beacon in each one, maybe? Or a, a thing of some form. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. So next up, we have to work out how to make stone. So, I assume we need the crafting table, because it's like a properly complex matter. And we're going to try and work out, like, sedimentary stone. Is that what we want? I think it is, right? Because it says, for a stone, we need any stone. Okay, any stone. So that's fine. So we take our blocks... We do some crafting. 
And then we sit here for a while while it happens, it sounds like. We'll also... Oh, and then we can make beacon controls. And oh, wow, we got... So the game gets pretty complex at this point, it seems. And as a, as a reward, we get a stone pickaxe. So, um, Toey Cat. I, I love that the, the, the random British voice calls it Toey Cat. Uh, what is the currency that Matthias Piel is using? Uh, it's the Poland Zlot Zloty. The Zloty. I can never say their currency name. Um, but let me, let me just say that, like, it's the Polish currency. It's, um, even though they're in the Eurozone, uh, in the Euro, European Union, they don't use the Euro, and they don't really want to. It's a fun, it's a fun two-cat matter we've gone over a few times. But yeah, long story short, is, uh, it's the Polish Slotty. So, okay, I'm gonna get a, a heavy hammer now for chopping down trees. A heavy axe, I mean, I'd like to chop down some trees. Chops trees faster, lasts a little longer. Let's go for it. And, uh... Let's let's give this new axe a try then, shall we? Usually, like when I'm playing games, I'm like somewhat efficient at them, right? In this one though, it's kind of fun that we're just diving in for the first time. I need to put anyone. Uh, where do I send fan art? If you know, uh, just tweet it at me, and I'll, I'll tell you. See, I, I love seeing uh, fan art. It's a really bizarre thing to me, but I, I like seeing it regardless. So please do send it. Um. OMG, hi IBX, I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, who AI, carry Homer? That is awesome. So, look at all these trees around here that are chopped down entirely. It's a little bit weird, now that I think about it. How is Jesus get started? In this game, it definitely lacks the usability that you might like in another game. Let me, I'll tell you that much, for sure. So I should, okay, I finally got a stone axe, which we have to take from here, put up here, and I guess we'll just leave up that up there. I, I don't know for sure. Because now, we can go properly... Oh man, it's, it's a lot of steps. If we put this in our right hand instead, we can go destroy some trees, I hope. That's the dream. Yeah, look at this, 400. Destroy these trees. Oh, and there's a hole down here. But yeah, now we're going to get a bunch of wood. And then we're going to make a house. Because who doesn't want a house? That's the whole point of the game, right? Except I can't get houses because uh, I need food. How do you get food, one might ask. Actually, that's a good question. How do you think I get food? Because I really don't want to kill animals. That weird space kangaroo killed me. So space kangaroos are not a good source of food. Oh, this one's called wild stock. Maybe this one won't kill me. As long as it can't kill me. Okay, space kangaroo, I'm sorry. You just gotta accept I need the food more than you. Space kangaroos are so, so selfish. Oh, space, speedrunner one. Yeah, space kangaroos in this game, they're just, they're not team players. Like, look, we, we both know I need the food more than you. Oh God, they, <laughs> space kangaroos two, toy cat zero. Okay, so I mean, besides the fact that I've been killed twice by, <laughs> literally twice now, by the environment. Oh, and it's taking me to a different place each time. No, that's not what I want. I want to take me back to my, how do I get back there? Uh, set as destination. It's going to take me a while to get there, isn't it? Okay. I think I'm just across the river, actually. Yeah, I think that's my house over there somewhere. So, how do you get the two plot thing? The two plot thing? I just have a, I only have one plot so far. Oh god, look how weird you look when you're swimming in this game. What the heck is that? Oh god, I am, that makes me deeply uncomfortable. I have never felt this way before. Okay, so we're gonna go down below, because maybe we find like a, uh, maybe we'll find like some food down here. It stands to reason that the ocean, or the river, or whatever this is, should have some. Oh, I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Oh, no, 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 not again. I figured when I went to the surface, my air meter would refill. But you're not. That was a temporary setback. Now we're in a, in a cave. So, places. You're not. Besides dying three times, things are going pretty well today. <laughs> okay, so it's still my destination. I'm just a little bit further away from it this time. 
But yeah, the, oh, the, the food thing is still a very real concern. Like, I've yet to find any real source of food. No, the two plot to place the beacon. Uh, I'm not sure what what um, what you're suggesting. Sorry. Uh, rip. <laughs> Ripperonies, indeed. Oh, so I made a bridge over there. I think we should make a bridge, too. Clearly, this this river right here is just too dangerous. We have to be fixing it. Oh, we got a uh, we got a fourth donation from Matteo. Thank you so much, Matthias, for the five Polan uh, Zloty super chat. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, uh, like you chose to. And also, a big thank you. I'll oh, get this. Get this. Big thank you to Matthias for becoming a member of the channel. If you don't know, being a channel member, say uh, a monthly uh, contribution. But in exchange for that, you get the little cool toy cat icon next to your thing, and you get access to the Discord. You get exclusive emojis, and you get the warm, fuzzy feelings in your heart. Knowing that you have supported your boy Toy Cat. So, a big thank you for that. It's gonna shop. There we go. <laughs> big fan. Big thank you. Welcome to the member squad. I know we need to get like a better term for like members, like the member massive. I don't know. We, we gotta work out something for it. Anyway, let's, let's chop down some trees. While we still can. I desperately need to work out food. But again, we'll, we'll deal with that when when that comes up. So, um... A campfire requires two plots to place. Ah, mine didn't say that. Mine just... Mine just said one plot. So, maybe it's because you're so close to mine. Like, maybe you need to be a certain distance. Oh, I'm starving now. Well, that's... That's wonderful, isn't it? So, down there at the bottom, you can see... There's clearly meant to be a place for food. Is this food? That's a seed? Raw earth jam. You know what? I'll take it. Please. Oh god. Whatever this is. We'll eat a couple of these. And now we have more max energy. Oh, so that's what your hunger bar is. Your hunger bar is effectively a max few energy. So we need to go find food that won't try and kill me. So chat, what, what foods are we thinking? We're thinking... Uh, you know, if you had to give official recommendations on things you can try and eat that aren't deadly. How do we, uh, get our... Oh, I don't have anything in my hands. Oh, what, what did I just do? What, what, what is happening right here? So we put that here. And then we gotta un... Oh god, what is this? <laughs> we need to be called the kittens. The toy kittens! Um... But I mean, the Toy Kittens is what uh, people who subscribe to me in general call themselves. And I like that, you know, like, got to have an official Toy Kitten place. So then what, what do you call, like, people who are members, you know? The members? Uh, no, we, we got to work it out. I'm not sure Toy Cat. Thank you for the, uh, the, the help regardless. Um, so, uh, vegetables. Look, we're not, we're not one of those veg... What was that? What was I gonna go for there? Vegan types, or the vegetarians? Everybody hates both of those types of people. No one wants a vegetarian anywhere near their supper. So what we'll do instead of being one of them is we'll, you know, how about we just kill a space kangaroo again? What are the odds that it will kill me a third time in a row? Actually, wait. If maybe if if Haunton's around here, we could buy, we could both like you know tag team a, a space kangaroo. That's a sentence you never expect to say until it happens. <laughs> okay, so we've got some honey now. Or sap. I guess if we chop down enough of trees, we'll get some of that. Oh, we got some earth jam. Okay, so now we eat the earth jam. Put it over here. You can eat and walk in this game, which is handy. And there we go. Look at that. And now if we just get some more sap. Okay, you can't eat and chop at the same time. There we go, look at this. Okay, I'm sorted. Thanks, Toy Cat. I'm just telling you the sad truth that the world doesn't know. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, don't worry, I'm just deliberately targeting you, uh, Leanne, right there. I mean, if we're being honest, though, right? If we're being 100% honest, like, fish are basically a vegetable. Like, if, okay, so, you know, cows? No, if pigs are really intelligent. Eating pigs is mean, but we like bacon too much, so we do it anyway, right? And the reason we eat, like, carrots is because carrots aren't as smart as a pig. Like, have you ever spoken to a carrot? They are the least interesting, like, 
you get into a conversation with Carrot and you you have to like, oh, sorry, look at the time. I guess I'm going now, Carrot. They they do not contribute to conversations in the slightest because um, they're selfish like that. So basically what I'm saying there is Pig is like intelligent, almost like dolphin level, almost, you know, like human levels of intelligence. Whereas Carrot, Carrots are a lot worse than that. So with that in mind, I think that fish, fish just flap. Their, their whole job is to like lay some eggs and flap, which sounds to me like halfway between a carrot and a pig. You know, like you, at, if you, if you know, I'm, I'm just saying. We should, I, I think fish should be basically a vegetable. Like not in terms of like, uh, like is it good for you to eat fish? Oh yeah, it's like a vegetable. But it should be like, oh yeah, I, oh, we got some, uh, whatever this even is. Oh, it's a boulder. Oh. But I, I think it should uh, count as a special little thing. Okay, so now we're going to try and uh, let's also call them the toy tigers. I like the toy tigers. So you go from a toy kitten to a toy tiger as you do it. By the way, uh, Matthias is right. We are playing Boundless on the PlayStation 4. Uh, there are PC players in here, though. Um, that's a thing to keep in mind. Do you have to download the YouTube gaming app to be a member? Says Richard Duron. Um, you don't have to... If you're on mobile... Uh, you do, but if you're not on mobile, you just have to go to gaming.youtube.com slash toycat. Uh, it's eventually going to be available all over YouTube, and like, if you buy it, then it'll still be there. It's just right now, YouTube's slowly rolling it out, so they, uh, they haven't been able to do it. For me. But, you know, what? again, I'm like, always talking to YouTube about this sort of stuff, or, or always getting someone to talk to YouTube through me. It's, it's a long thing. The thing is, my partner's forced me to eat fish. I'm just saying, they're not wrong. It's basically a vegetable. And you know what, like, fish tastes like a vegetable too. Like, okay, so, if you eat like a good salmon or a good tuna, that tastes like meat. But if you eat like a, a filet -O fish you know, the, the McDonald's fish sandwich that no one orders, unless they're, you know, being a bit wacky. But that, that thing tastes like a vegetable. So, okay, are you gonna do gameplay in Fallout 76? Says, am I a person? Yeah, so uh, I'm playing Blackout because uh, I'm, I'm really hyped about that. Uh, as well as Fallout 76. And I have a calendar, actually, with all the games I'm excited about. Um, it's the one-year anniversary of Minecraft Bedrock in a week. Minecraft Earth is in two weeks. Uh, there is... Oh, I've got an event in October. Actually, you know, it is just Fallout 76 on my calendar right now. But there are a few other games I care about uh, coming up fairly soon. Kind of excited about no toy cat, it's a basic folder. <laughs> My bad. Basic folder. Uh, toy cat, you need to make your dictatorship on Cat Island. I think it's in Japan. Don't know if they'll be happy with it. You know, like, the Cat Island in Japan, is it's on my list of, like, must go. And I'm so sad that every, like, I still don't even know where it is, though. It's just, like, a, there's an island filled with cats. There's a golden video to be made from it. That's, that's all I really need to know. I can't wait for Fallout 76. I want to nuke people. Oh yeah, there there are nukes you can, which to me has always seemed like a oh god, Fallout seventy six is going to be brutal for that reason. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm hyped so so much for Fallout seventy six. So let's try and start a house now. It's going to seem like a actually you know what, let's let's first we'll see how we make a uh, how we make a furnace because we I want to make another campfire I think. Yeah, actually you know what, first of all let's let's do this right. Then let's place the campfire. I, I made a campfire, but I lost it. I'll make a stone furnace base too, sure. Craft one. And now I can't make any of the other things. So that takes 17 seconds. In the meantime, we get this. There's a lot of steps required to like get things in your hands. But then we can put this in my left hand. And now we can extend. Look, if you look right here, we can extend the area that is considered mine. And I'm going to slowly expand into... Mr. Deutschlands over there. There we go. Look at this. And then we got like rooms in a house almost. So all of both of these belong to me right now. I have four out of seven plots used apparently. Maybe it takes two plots per campfire. But I'm just gonna slowly extend until we re like meet, and it's gonna be crazy. You remove the poles. I did in fact remove the poles. Uh, how can PS4 is crossplay? Film with all the news. Uh, sadly, PS4 is crossplay in this case with PC only, because you know PC they don't think is competition, 
with their device. And they just they just didn't make the game for Xbox. Because uh, I, I don't know if they... I think they have an exclusivity deal with uh, Sony. It's pretty weird. You can't eat sap, which is sad. I don't know if I would eat sap. But I do think it's sad that you can't regardless. So, um, in addition, they repaired the bug on Minecraft Windows 10 with the Phantom for Beta 1.705. I... I don't know why it took them so long, though. Like, you, I, I don't want to, like, criticize the Minecraft people. Because, you know, they, they work hard. They have things they've got to do. But the bug was in there for so long. And it still is, right? In addition, oh, there they go. repaired the bug on the Minecraft Windows 10 edition with a Phantom for Beta. Yeah, so, uh, oh, it, it doesn't read out the numbers. What's, what's up with that? Um, oh, so this is Beaconed. What does that even mean? If I break it, what does it go away forever? You know, let's find out. Ah, we get it back. There we go. So I'm, I think we can use this as a beacon, maybe. Uh, let's let's give it a try. So furnaces are slow and hungry, it says. So we can't place it anywhere outside the beacon. Only within a beacon. Okay. Easy. Good to know. Then we place a block over here instead. And it says it's beaconed and it's private. What does that mean? Okay, machines such as the furnace can craft a wide variety of different things. If you're unsure what you can make, open the knowledge screen. Which we do like this. But yeah, so okay. Now we've got to start making a house around all of this. So just to give you an example of that. We'll start with like a foundation. As you can see. Make a, make a wall. Because you know, every good thing... In the world starts with a wall and then just like oh look at this 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 house is beautiful and then we'll, we'll kind of have like diagonal corners because that's that's how you make it look fancy uh and then we run out of sand over here but as you can see i i've, I've shown my dominance over the area <laughs> this this counts as a house trust me it does uh now we're gonna see if we can get a better axe though because if i want to chop down enough to make a house I'm gonna want a better axe. So, oh, we can we can make a door, and but we can't make any better stuff than a stone axe without going to like a next level, I assume, which might require a workbench. How do we make a workbench? We need ten timber, base metal, ancient tech remnant. Okay, so we can't make one of those. I think we can just admit right here, and then for this we need any rock and any trunk. So let's just go get some rock. Yeah, easy. And then we can make a warp. Sounds good to me. And then we can make a store. Okay, so there's a lot of a lot of things we can make inside of here. So I can't look so much more different than when I joined the channel. Yeah, it's it's um it's weird. The cool thing about being subscribed to someone, if you've been subscribed for a long time, I don't know how long you have, but you can almost like see the YouTubers you care about, like grow as people almost. I know, I, I find it to be weird. Uh, I, I find it weird for other YouTubers I watch. And it's kind of cool that you can see that for me. I mean, if you care. I mean, if you don't care, then it's the opposite of cool, isn't it? It's like, oh, here's this thing happening, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna dig a little trench over here. Like, terraform the environment a little bit. Just to make it very clear that I've been here and I'm asserting my dominance. So again, do you think dive mining will work on console? Uh, it's impossible to say. I think... I think there's a chance it will, but it's it's impossible to say. Have you played Seven Days to Die before? Uh, I have not uh, Haunted Zombie. It's There's a lot of games like that that I'm recommended, that for some reason they just never catch my fancy. But maybe I should. So, Kat, can I play with you on Blackout? Um, if you're on the PS4, then you can join my session, and I cannot stop you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, the game is not working. The game is its very bizarre, to say the least. Right, I think you can definitely say that. Also, big thank you, Matthias, for the five Polish Lottie. In case you're curious, I think... Okay, my official guess. I'm going to see if I know my exchange rates. I haven't seen the Polish Lottie in maybe two years. I want to say it's five point... Or five point one to the pound. Let's quickly give it a check. Okay. P-N-P-O-N to GBP. Uh, wait, so I have to do the other way around. GBP to PON. 4.84. I was 0.3 off. Look at me. I am... I am international currency guru. Your boy Toy Cat. 
I think the reason it's gone, uh... Oh, it's, it's... So, so in case you're curious, five Polish Lofty is about $1.30. In case you want to know what the conversion is. Again, I know most people, like, don't use the Polish Lofty. It's not a widely exchanged currency, if we're being obvious. I mean, if we're being, uh, real of ourselves. But that's, that's no reason it shouldn't be. So, there's more wild stock here, and I'm level three. I reckon if I punch that wild stock now, good things are going to happen. That's a nice way of saying yes. I mean, it's more of a way of saying no, right? I mean, uh, I, I mean, I guess it is a way of saying. I mean, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess, I am saying, yeah, you're right. See, look how nice I am. I say yes in the nicest ways. I say the best yeses. <laughs> you could say. So yeah, now we're gonna take all of my sand, and we're, we're actually gonna start building my my little sand foundation. Oh no, I built outside of there. Okay. So they actually regenerate any blocks outside of your control. Which is actually kind of a weird one when you think about it. So we're going to build all around my house. On some sand. Just like this. And it's going to hopefully... Like, show the world that you're not... I am not only a beauty at build it, like, like whatever else I'm trying to do. But I can also make this happen. Oh, that guy has made a tank. Like a tower. I'm gonna go look inside, so I can't do anything inside here. Like if I try to break, break, it's not my, not my grass to make. But this guy has been, he's been going crazy with it. Look, he's made a, oh, this is the guy, there's Dirty Harry. Hey, Dirty Harry. How's it going? Let's interact. Let's interact. Hey, can we, can we interact? Uh, trade? Let's see if he trades. Like, I have nothing that I can offer him, but maybe he's like nice and he gives me something. In exchange for my garbage. He d <laughs> he's, not, he's not a fan of that. Okay, so Dirty Harry. He is, uh... He is not a fan of that. Let's, let's see what's going on over here, though. Man, this is... It's kind of cool what you can do within this game. Again, it's, it's super Minecrafty though, when you actually dive into it. Like, it's, it's Minecraft, but in space, and an MMO. But, like, more friendly than Minecraft in space. Oh, we're gonna die? We are gonna die. Okay, that's nice. Oh, I didn't actually die. I just almost did. So, you can run around other people's stuff, but you can't break it. I can't stop you. I mean, yeah, that's... That's <laughs> that's my that's that's my version of politeness, you know? Like, I mean, on the one hand, I could say, do what you want. On the other hand... <laughs> Uh, so, uh, so I can't you plan to get all the achievements in Minecraft Windows 10? Uh, I really wanted to, but, like, I just realized at some point, like, I'm not having fun going after all these achievements on all these different platforms. So I just kind of let them happen in their own time now. For better or worse. It's, oh, hello there, friend. How's it going, Darth Pain? We good? Oh, wait, let's, let's do this in third person. Let's, let's show you the ridiculous of what hap what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> he can actually kill me really easily. Yeah, that'll show you. That'll show you Darth Pain. <laughs> yeah, that. Take this. Yeah, he actually can, like, whack me to death pretty fast. Yeah, you, showing you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop this now. So this this is the most bizarre game. Oh, okay, let's, let's do this. I think I've ever seen. So I'm gonna offer him some opal. I don't know what that is. And then I want him to give me some coins, maybe. What What are you going to offer me for my opals, friend? Oh, 18 carrots, please. Yes, yes. And then I, wanna, I want him to give me some money. Can I offer minus coins? No, I can't. Let's do it. I don't know if this is the best... Oh, he's giving me more. Okay, so... This might be the best, best, you know, I make the best trade deals. <laughs> um, probably going to be Jar Jar Binks skin. I'm choking, help me. <laughs> Do you like toast? Says Toaster. I feel like I'd be offending you if I said I didn't like toast, Mr. Toast. I think he might be showing off at this point. Either that or he really wants my opal.
I want to make this trade up. Oh, there we go. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh. Yeah. Do we have a deal? And then there's like a little swastika icon. Yeah, I like Darth Payne a lot. I hit him a few times and he's like, you know, if you stop hitting me, I'll give you a bunch of food. I'm excited. Look at all this. Oh, yeah. I sign the very best. But no, I, I actually do like toast a lot. But like, it has to be brown toast or seeded or whatever. And you have to get the butter on the toast the moment it's out of the toaster. If you wait and the butter kind of like lays on the toast, that's no good. I want my butter to be perfectly melted into my toast. Um, it, it, fun fact, if you're ever going to make me toast. As I know a solid 90% of my subscribers end up doing. You're all going to make me toast one day. One day. That is, of course, a joke, I should clarify. Um, so now we've got Rock Smart Stack. Oh, there's so much rock in the stack. Doesn't even know how to do it. So we can make a house now. So, I guess we'll just make a tiny house to start with, you know? Just a nice, nice small... Oh, look at this. This is nice. Oh, you get XP whenever you place a block. So basically, you just gave me free reign to get some free XP. Sounds good to me. So, oh, we can't actually make a staircase outside of our house. We need to make a staircase later. But this is going to be the ground floor. Uh, actually, you know, this could be a, this could be like a ceiling, maybe. I'm not, I'm not even sure. Wait, we'll live in the basement, and then up there will be a proper ceiling or whatever. I'm liking this. I, you know, this Darth Payne guy, he's not so bad after all. That's not prejudiced at all. Uh, <laughs> I, I like Vegemite and Cheeto. You, oh, Marmite and Vegemite, they are just the worst things. Again, he noticed me, says Julio Lemus. You know, I, I'll notice you all day, every day. All you gotta do is do the thing. Uh, or you gotta, gotta just leave, leave interesting comments and you'll get noticed all day. Yeah, me too. Have a tiny wireless keyboard. Critical butter moment uh, is, a, is a thing on toast. It is. Like, I'd, loads of people are just like, let it out of the toaster. Now let's go to the fridge at a leisurely pl uh, pace. I'm like, moment the toast goes in the toaster, or the I guess the bread goes in the toaster, ha 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 ha. But the moment it goes in there, it's like, get the butter ready. Get the knife out. Get the knife on the butter. Have that in your hand. So the moment the toast is popping out, you're like, spread, spread, spread. <laughs> it's like, um, there's this thing in the emergency services. It's just, um, it's a, it's a fact that if you can get people to hospital, in the first, I think it's 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Or maybe it's just an hour. But like, if you can get them possible fast, then they'll, they've got a way better chance of living. And um, in the toast world, if you can get bread on that, butter on that toast, in the first five minutes, you have... Toast to you, bread. <laughs> toast to you, bread. Big thank you, Matthias, for the uh, 10 polished lottie. Glad you're feeling uh, super uh, generous today. Big fan of that. One of my favorite things in the world. Uh, 4J's banner is fuzzy. Is it really now? Oh, it is officially fuzzy. It's happening. Okay, so while we look at... I'm going to get myself in third person to confuse everyone. So while I... I'm, I need to really just tweet about that. Uh, it looks like it's happening tomorrow, guys. It's happening. How can one be so passionate about butter on toast? The fact that you're not passionate about butter on toast... Is why you're a vegetarian. You know? You're out... Or, uh, I'm not sure if you're vegetarian or vegan. I'm going to make fun of you on equal amounts, though. Because vegetarian... Okay, like, get this right. Vegetarians are just people who haven't had good enough meat. It's just... That's what that is. It's like... Um, you, you haven't tried the perfect bacon yet. And therefore, it's a lot easier. It's kind of like how... Um, I, can, I can make you a promise that I'll never go to Somalia. And it's like, I'm a non-Somalian person. Because, you know, I don't want to go to Somalia. I haven't seen anything good from Somalia. And that's that's a thing. Um, okay, so... Fuzzy Banner. Uh, three. Now we've got to tweet that. And then we're all good. Thank you very much, uh, whoever told me. Uh, let me let me give you a shout-out. BO3 Zombie Slayer. I'm assuming that means you slayed zombies in Black Ops 3. Okay, Fuzzy Banner. Throw that to the Twitter. It's happening tomorrow. Excited face. Wait, I'll, I'll see. T 
QU70 slash aquatic for consoles. Okay, exciting stuff. Okay, apologies about that. Gotta gotta do your tweets sometimes. I, I hate this in in um via in the same way it's like, you know, it's really easy for me to give up going to Somalia. Because it's it's never been great. And that's that's why my theory here is you've never had great butter on your toast. Vegetarian. Oh, you're veg. Okay. My, my, I, so, okay. Fun fact. I live with a, um, my mother is a vegetarian, but she was a vegan the entire time I grew up. Like she switched back to vegetarian, but my mother is a vegetarian. And, um, so, uh, sorry, she was even a vegan, which meant that like all of the stuff in our house, like the milk would be vegan milk. The, the butter would be vegan butter. The, the mints, you know, for like making spaghetti bolognese or whatever. That would be vegan mints. And I, it was always fine. Like, you know, it's always okay. Vegan mints, A-okay. -okay. Vegan butter, sure, whatever. But the moment you tried the regular stuff again, like in school, uh, the first time I ever tried real mints, or like could remember trying real mints, was because I was in school and they told me to go out and buy some ingredients. So I got it on the way home or whatever, right? Um, and uh, while I was... Uh, while I was like cooking this stuff, I tried some and I was like, oh my God, the mince itself. And even now to this day, I can eat just mince by itself because it's that revolutionary to me. It's like, oh my gosh, it is just, it's just wonderful. I really just don't like the texture of meat. But here's the thing. So I can't eat, because I never eat, ate like proper meat as a child, I still, I can't eat, like if you just cook up, let's say like pork breast, or chicken breast, it makes me feel sick. Like, it doesn't feel good. And in my mouth, I'm like, this is a dead animal. I don't want to eat dead animal because it's dead and an animal. Um, <laughs> those are two things that ideally I would not be eating. Oh, we've got a different type of rock now. Should we go with it regardless? Let's go with it regardless. Actually, no, we shouldn't. We'll use it on the outside, I think. Make some layers. But, uh, yeah, long, long story short is that, um, Long story short on that one is that my, my point is just that uh, I can only eat meat that doesn't feel like meat. Uh, so maybe, maybe, if if, 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 as long as ethics isn't your main concern, because let's be honest, like, eating meat is really bad for a billion different reasons. Uh, but like, I don't know, it's like, have you tried? Uh, there's, I think there's a, there's a type of meat that's ideal for everyone. I, you know, I could, I could spend all day convincing people to eat meat. Like that, that should be my new, my new calling in life, like. Hey, vegetarian, perhaps you haven't tried the new Big Mac Chicken Mac or the new Fish Filet or whatever. Like there's a, like salmon for instance. Salmon is like some rare vegetable that just happens to be fish carcass or whatever it is. So, uh, uh let's see. There's also a chance it's another DLC release since tomorrow is a marketplace release day. Imagine how cruel it would be to have tomorrow be a skin pack release for Minecraft console. Imagine the cruelty if that's what it was. Uh, so stone level copper. Oh wait, I had all these things ready. This whole time. Oh, cubits. Oh, look how nice that is. I think I got these for pre-ordering the game. I didn't pre-order, but like, let's open some crates. This is satisfying. But let's, let's get a better background first. So I'll be in third person or first third person. And we'll do it like this. There we go. Just <laughs> That's why we should always eat humans. Honestly, I would be down for eating humans. I have no like particular objection to eating humans. Like I I'd be willing to bet humans are tasty. Again, I, I have not eaten a human yet. But like the only reason we don't is because I feel like it kinda sets up the barriers all wrong. Like being eaten while being alive, that's not good. I think Twig Salmon does not taste too well. I'll stick to myself. Buy free humans I got. Oh, we got a weekly experience bonus in this one. Probably should have done that before building my house, but whatever. Get some coins, some cubits. Uh, if they do that, I'll burn down 40 studios. Probably not a good idea to make a fret like that on the internet, but I agree with the concept. Um, you're saying you'd eat them alive. I, I'm just saying we eat. There's a, it's a well-known thing, right? That there's loads of animals that you wanna, like, kill in particular ways. Basically because when they die, they get less tasty. 
I think it's like lobsters and stuff. You know, let's not talk about meat too much. Uh, cannibals have claimed that uh, spam tastes a lot like humans. Yeah, no, I've heard that. Yeah, humans are basically like pork. Um, honestly, you know, there needs to be a place we can go where you can just try a human out, and that way you can know. Okay, because uh, you. Okay, fun fact: your body will actually reject human if you try to eat it. Uh, maybe you're aware of this, maybe you're not, but most of the time, if you try and eat humans, your body will be like, no, 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 this isn't, this is not okay. Please stop making a formal request. So beacon control. What is this? Oh, it claims land inside a beacon. That sounds like a good idea. I'll take one of those, please. So it requires fuel, though. Oh, if I, if you don't keep fuel in your beacon, your stuff doesn't stay. That seems like a problem. Cannibalism. Like, I feel like, okay, this, this is, this is my, this is my food thing. The more intelligent your food is, the worse you should feel about eating it. Like I said, carrots, you can eat carrots because you're not, carrots are really, they're really dull conversation partners. So you're not, they deserve to be eaten. Like maybe if you didn't want to be eaten, you would, uh, you'd, you'd get better at small talk, Mr. Carrot. But, uh, so I can place this anywhere outside my beacon to expand the zone. So you have to add fuel to it, though, or it doesn't count as my plot. Yeah, that's kind of weird, actually. How long does it last? I hope some amount of time. Okay, so we're going to place some... Um, what is valid beacon fuel? Uh, I have no idea, actually. Seven days is like Minecraft, but zombie-based and more realistic. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of games people recommend in that vague thing. What, what is valid beacon fuel? Metamorphic rock? No. I don't know any of this stuff. So, big thank you, Hornhin Zombie, for the 199 Super Chat. Big thank you, Matthias, for the five Polish slotty. Just rolling in with the Super Chats today. Big fan. Big fan, to say the least. This is IBX Toy Cat showing some signs of insanity. <laughs> you know, I, I think we went a little bit off the deep end when we're talking about, like, food. But no, that's, I think that's actually how I feel bad about food. Like, honestly, when I, when I eat uh, any type of complex, when I eat any cute animal, I feel awful. No, so cat does not endorse eating other people. You know, I endorse eating stupid people. That's my official stance on this. Like, if you know someone, you know the type of people where you're just like... How are you alive right now? How did you... Okay, you know, let me let me tell you something. I spoke to someone recently. And maybe they were just... Maybe they were drunk. Maybe they were being funny. Maybe, you know, that's their thing. But I was just there the whole time like... How how are these words... I Do you believe... Do you think these words that you're saying are right? Like, do you, is this Is this okay on your end? Are you just saying what's... Like, what... I, I want to know how that happens. Oh! Haunts is over here. Let's 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 tag team a, a kangaroo. Let's do it. Uh, how do I how do I tell it? How do we request the, to tag team a space kangaroo? Doesn't look like it. There is a way. You know, what? there needs to be a button in the game for that. Now I put the wooden shovel in the left hand, and we're gonna go dig some more sand. Again, I'm trying to make like a big kind of like layer around my base where this is missing. But being a vegetarian isn't that bad. <laughs> oh no, honestly, okay, so here's the actual thing. People who hate vegetarians they don't know, like actually hate them, they're ridiculous. I think it's annoying to know vegetarians if you're with one, because it limits your options a lot more than they'll admit. I think, like, anyone, like, and even then, like, nowadays, it's really easy to be a vegetarian in most places. But, like, um,. Okay, here's a, here's a fun example. Um, my my actually not this this relates to you, Leanne, um, because it's your country. So, in in the UK, the the most visited destination I believe is Amsterdam, or it's like set like the single most connected city to London. There is thirty six flights a day from London to Amsterdam, and they go. Oh, I think it might be more than that. I think it was thirty six last time I checked. Uh, it's it's probably a lot more than that now, but. And on all the, you know, it's just a very visited place. However, different different set of rules, not 
not everywhere is uh, quite so good on the same trends. And I had a vegetarian. One of my fr friend groups went there, and they had, like they had one of the one of the guys had a vegetarian girlfriend, and he just like, oh, we did that in the wrong place. Oops. And it was such a, a big, it was such a big thing, trying to find thing, and then like they finally like found food that was. Like, I think it was, like, gluten-free and vegetarian. And then it just wasn't even those things. They're like, oh, yeah, we'll do that for you. We can make that happen. Uh, so, yeah, fun fun fact. Uh, and then, like, she, like, accidentally ate some and was like, ah, oh, we can't do this. And it, long story short, I forgot what the story was meant to go. But I was just trying to say that, you know, it's really tricky sometimes. I, I feel, I feel that. Um, is this the mystical crossplay on PS4? It's sadly only crossplay... With the PC. I wanted to dream of more. Oh wait, someone has claimed this tree. How do they own a tree? That's not fair. You don't get to own trees. Man. Uh, my school is the best. They have all the different Ben and Jerry ice creams in the canteen. So, I only know what I know from watching like American TV on YouTube. And American TV is like the lowest quality. Like internationally, as far as TV, like... News especially. American news is like the lowest quality of the news. I think we can all agree on that. Oh, I can't jump on top of my house. That's tragic. But, um... Yeah, one of the, uh, the interesting things is that I, I always see, like, news stories about how bad like, how healthy they're trying to make food in American schools. So I'm impressed that you actually can. I bring my own food if I need to. Um... I, again, I, I think the... As long as you know where, like, vegetarian stuff is, and you're like, here are the options, then I, I don't think anyone's ever going to hate you for that. Don't worry. Don't don't feel attacked. It's it's okay to be vegetarian. It's just uh, tricky in some circumstances. Good by giving it toss, toss stuff. I mean, I guess that's not wrong. Okay, let's, let's see what Haunts is up to over here. I'm Australian. I don't know why you need to know that, but yeah. I like Australia. Everyone in the UK likes Australia. As a fun... Okay, so I was speaking to my granddad because uh, one of my... I don't know what the relation to me this is. Like, great uncle. He lives in Australia. And um, my granddad said, like, he very almost went to Australia too. And I was like, wouldn't that be expensive? Because, like, it was a 30-day boat ride from the UK to Australia back then. Um, and he was like, oh, yeah. Uh, it would have cost £10. It was £10, so I think that's, like, $40 by those rates because obviously pounds and dollars used to exchange different but it was 10 pounds to go to australia at one point and i can't stop thinking about how wild that is right like jesus avocados are a superfood avocados are the worst superfood no on honestly like avocados are one of those foods that i hate in every sense but also think are quite tasty like if you ever try preparing an avocado they're like the worst fruit or vegetable. Like, what even is an avocado? Australia scares me, those spiders and stuff. Yeah, I really want to go visit Australia sometime. Like, check out all the main cities. It's like on my to-do list, but I guess I need a good excuse to go. <laughs> if I ever go on tour, I'll go via Australia. There we go. I've actually considered that as like uh, one of my backup plans for like if everything goes pear-shaped. Why do people say pear-shaped? I'm gonna quickly look that one up. Is that like, is pear-shaped like pear-shaped expression? What does that even mean? Uh, go pear-shaped. It's a Britishism. Oh, okay, that's that's weird. The first use of go pear-shaped is in the LexisNexis database of newspapers in 1999. Um, what the heck? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a financial term. What the heck? Weird. I thought it was rude, but it's, it's a British thing. Whatever. Okay. Fun fact. In fact, chat, d uh, let me know. Just say yes or no. Do you know the expression pear-shaped? Say yes if you know pear-shaped. Say no if you don't know what that means. Because in my head, that's just like a thing you say, right? I don't even know how, like... Isn't it weird how language works that way? Like, I knew a word, no idea how I knew the word. Didn't even know if, the, like, the expression was correct. But somehow knew it regardless. It's, 
Um, I'm Australian. Come visit me, Toy Cat. Uh, as much as I'd love to. Australia's quite far away from the UK. No, the, the long flights to get to Australia, like, it's one of those things I was like, you know, super cool. But it's either expensive or very painful. And sometimes both. <laughs> uh, so, no. No. Yes, it means something has gone wrong. Yes, no, no, no. Okay, so most people don't know the expression. Okay, so I... Yes, but the expression toast shaped is better, says toast. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess he's spoken. Oh, we, we recruit an arenologist? I wish I knew more about anything in this. This game's kind of beautiful, right? Like, looking around. It's very, it's clear the, uh, the Minecraft inspiration, though. It's funny, because I'm sure the game doesn't ever admit that it's, like, Minecraft-inspired. But it is, yeah. We, we can all see it. We'll put the twisted timber in there. We can't. Put the stick in there. Put the twisted wood trunk in there. What, 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 what fuels a beacon? Add valid fuel to the beacon. Oh, it should tell me somewhere, I'm sure. If I try and put something in there. Sap? I mean, sap seems like it should be fuel, right? Beacon fuels a crafted item solely for... Oh, it's going to be in the crafting table. Tab. Okay, so we go to contents. Recipes, there we go. Basic beacon fuel. So we craft a bunch of these. Missing ingredients. Oh, I, it requires 10 foliage to make one fuel. And then as soon as we put fuel in the beacon, it becomes mine. So here's the funny thing, though, about this game. Is you very quickly can lose all of your stuff. Like, if my house... This is only... Oh, this is four weeks worth of fuel. Okay. Oh, no place like home. How nice. What, what is that for? I love getting trophies. I don't even care about my, like, PSN trophy score. It's like, yeah, look at me. Fueling a beacon. Only 85% of players have done that. <laughs> and only 81% of people have discovered a new region. So, yeah. Uh, oh, everything's hidden in this game. Oh, you can go through different worlds. You can go for a citizen-made warp. Should we go explore? Let's go explore. You know what? We'll get a sword or something. Like, something to protect me. And then let's go exploring, I guess. Because we can always come back here. I'm sure. So we'll grab a sword or a stone slingbow. Sounds kind of cool. Uh, I guess we just want a heavy hammer. Or a... Wait, there's a hammer tool and this... A spanner tool? What, what are any of these things, you know? Honestly, you know, we'll just... Oh, we got a beacon plotter. Sounds good to me. Wait eight seconds to do that. Toy Cat, have you ever been Toy Cat in Poland? Uh, do you mean... I mean, I saw what it means in the context, but I didn't know it. It's really, it's really weird, that one, I guess. That, like, anyone can... There are so many expressions that you can just pick up without even really... I don't know, I, I find words to be weird like that. Because usually you know when you're learning stuff, because you're in school and they're like, here's a thing you've got to learn. You're like, okay, I've learned the thing you've told me to learn. So now we're going to make this a plot. And then we're going to make this a plot. Oh, look at that. We're making a mega plot right here. Uh, and I guess this is going to be the edge over here. So then we'll make over here into a plot, maybe. Oh, this is... He's already made this into a plot. I, I've been surrounded. My, my plot is surrounded by other plots. So I guess we'll just keep going this way. Can I do this? I have to jump a bit, maybe. Oh, I've got seven out of my seven plots used. Okay, so I've got a, I've got a nice place here. It lasts for four weeks, and then it gets destroyed. That sucks, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. So let's go for a walk. Let's see what other people have made. Like Dirty Harry over here. And let's see if there's any cool stuff going on. <coughs> oh, but I have been to Poland. I keep wanting to go back to Poland, actually. It just, uh, like, a lot of the uh, best connections to the UK are to Poland. It just, it just like, my time is, uh, I don't know, like, I, I really want to, is the long story short. And I'd, I hope I will. I'm, I'm, like, acutely aware of, like, how little time there is in my life. Like, this is the most weird, almost depressing, but almost, like, happy thing. Of, like, I'm only, I've, uh, you know, you've got, like, I've got, like, 60 years at best left, right? 
And that sounds like so much until you're like, okay, but how long have I got in my 20s left? Seven years. And it's like, okay, how many places can you visit? You can bring, you can visit, what, like a couple of places a month if you really go full out? And it's like, oh God, there's all these cool things. You're like, you know, I can't see them all. It's like that first moment where you're like, oh. If you want to do things, everything you do stops you doing something else. I used to, like, I used to be, like, paralyzed as a kid. When I went to a, you know, um, whenever I went to, like, a candy store, like, a place that sold sweets, as we'd call them, but, like, uh, a corner shop where it's like, oh, it's pick and mix, you can buy anything. I knew that everything I put in my bag meant that I, there was one less thing I couldn't have. And I have that, like, real crisis in real life. Uh, it's just worth noting. So, I'd like to go to Poland. Um... So, is there a chat delay? It says uh, Super Jedi Claire. Uh, it's about five seconds on these streams. Actually, wait, I think in this one it's a bit longer because I didn't hit a button. But it's usually about five seconds and at most it's 30. Hey there, friend. Let's trade. Let's see if we there's lots of friendly people around the world. Or if it's just this guy. Or that other guy. Okay, so I'm hoping if I offer him some coins... Uh, I'll offer him 15 coins. Okay, confirm. What is he going to give me for 15 coins? I wonder if he even will give me anything. Maybe that's nothing in this game. <laughs> he saluted me. I want, I want things. Is there a button for that? How did he do that? He, is he not, does he not want this trade? I'll give you some, oh, he, he's just, he just wants my money. You're not, for the, for the balls of that? No, 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 I want, I want something. Give me a thing. I, wait, I'll ask for some wood, maybe. Like, I want, I want some of that. Please do. This is what the game is all about. Remember when Freddo's were 5p each, now they're 50p? They're like 30p, it's terrible. Also, good to see you here, uh, Horton Zombie. Also, Matthias Plus, World Tour, Mitt Toy Cat. That's German, not Polish. Or maybe Mitt is in Polish too, actually. Actually, one sec, what is? With in Polish. Oh, it's, it's Z in, oh, that's weird. Hey, there we go. That's all we're talking about. I'll take it. Yeah, he gets, this guy gets it. Oh, okay, so is 15 coins worth a lot? Or am I getting a good deal? I feel like I might not be. Because of how readily he took that. Well, that's great. Look at that. We traded. Like, this guy looks like a pro. Which is why I'm so concerned. So we're going to see if we can uh, change my character a bit. Uh, core attribute. Oh, God, I don't want to care about any of that. Okay, let's just keep running this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that was close. We're gonna, we're gonna jump into the water, as is safe. And now we're gonna go walk over to more things. Because the more areas we discover, the better it is, or something like that. Uh, now I'm scared, it's 12 a.m. where I am, there's knocking at my door. And uh, never answer knocking at your door. It's always axe murderers. Literally, the only people that knock on doors are murderers and other people like that. Actually, do you wanna know a fun fact? So I never used to lock my door. Just because I, you know, like, I don't care about that in particular. No, no one unlocks a locked door. Until I found about something. Let, let me tell you about the worst thing I learned about recently. Oh, this is so cool. Look how, like, I'm just looking around the world for the rest of this. But seeing what people have made in this is amazing. But I never locked my doors, or I never used to, until I learned about the unlocked door murderer. And you're like, that's a joke. I heard that and I'm like, yeah, someone's just trying to mess with me. No, there was a guy, he was in California. And he used to try and, you know, open people's doors. And if the door was unlocked, he saw it as an invitation to murder them. And that sounds like, oh yeah, fun, fun, fun thing, like fun joke you're making there. And it's like, no, that's real. That's the scariest form of real too. Anyway, so in two hours, I'll be playing the Black Ops uh, beta, I should know. Um, the Black Ops, uh, Blackout, Blackout, or whatever it's called. No one knocks at my doorbell, they ring the... the sorry, no, no one knocks at my door, they ring the doorbell. I have a doorbell that doesn't work, and the amount of, like, joy 
that's brought into my life is amazing. It is. Like, everyone who knocks on your door, you don't want them to be there. Like, think think about it. I, I don't know. Uh, so again, I, I own a house, so maybe, like, you don't deal with all the door things. But how many people do you want at your door? You want invited guests and the Amazon man. Like, try and name anyone else that you want at your door, ringing the doorbell, unexpected. Right? You, it's And even then, like, so any anyone that is unexpected at your door, it's like no one. There is precisely no one you want at your door. It's just a tool used by, you know, marketing people to get money. And you know what? You know what you do to those people? You cut them off. You don't you don't take their, their garbage. And it works quite well. So we're going to go eating. What about Postman? They bring you your goods. Like I said, the Amazon man, uh, the Postman usually, okay, this, is, this might be different in the UK, but Amazon owns their own logistics in the UK. So they do all the deliveries themselves. Uh, at least for me. Or at least they, they have contractors. It's actually a really awful situation for the contractors. My point is, though, a man who bears the Amazon flag, he has pledged fealty to the Amazon gods. Uh, he comes around. Oh, this is some really weird stuff we've got going on here. It seems the world changes as you run through it. It's cool that you just keep running into more people and then more scenery. Like the, I'm sure at some point after the game launches, all of this will be gone. But for now, this looks pretty beautiful. Hey, Toy Cat and Mods just joined the stream. Good to see you, Master Miner. Uh, you joined near the end of this stream, but I'll be streaming in a couple of hours as well. I hope. Should be some fun. Um, if you don't have a delay, then I'll instantly see it. So, uh, what do we got going on here? Oh, Toy Cat. Oh, we got the aquatic update thing. No, yeah, I, um, I'm excited. I'll, I'll make a video after this is done. In fact, I probably should make a video, like, now. Like, as fun as this game is. And I do want to play some more of this. Perhaps. It feels like we should be... Oh, let's just chop down some more lush foliage. It feels like, perhaps, I should uh, get that out there. Because it's important news. And I think that's... Imp I think a lot of people are going to be a, a, lot of, a lot of degrees of excited about that. Like, I, I posted a tweet during the stream. It's already got 66 likes from less than a... Less than half an hour ago. So people are a little bit okay. And I said I'd make a video as soon as we learn. So to stay true to my word, I think I will do that. Okay, so first of all, this has been uh, Boundless. It's a PlayStation 4 game that I'm not sure what I think of, honestly. Like, there were some fun moments in there. And I'm sure that, like, eventually you can build some cool stuff. I've seen some really cool stuff that has been built. But I'm not sure if I understand the end goal. I'm not sure if I... Like, I think it is a creative game. And maybe... There could be some fun in it. But it didn't, uh... Oh. It didn't personally... Nail me perfectly. But maybe maybe it wasn't meant to. Who knows for sure. All I know is that the game... It's beautiful, it's interesting. And it's available. If that's your thing. Uh, so thank you very much for watching today's live stream. Like it if you did like it. Thank you to Matthias, by the way, for another donation. Share if you really liked it. Make sure you check back from the channels in a couple of hours if you want to learn about the Blackout. Because I've been saying this all year. Black Ops, um, you know, like seeing a Call of Duty Battle Royale is going to be exciting. Regardless of how else you think about it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be getting ready to play it as soon as this goes down. So thank you very much for watching this live stream. Like if you liked it. Share if you really liked it. Hit that bell with them notifications. And I guess I'll see you all in the next live stream. Please hit the bell. I, I need it. I, without, without you hitting the bell, I might not make it through the day. Is that, is that enough of a plea for help? <laughs> okay, goodbye.